Here are five tips to instantly start taking better photos as well as to improve your photography in general. Let's go. Tip number one is to add a human element to your photos. The human element plays a very interesting role in photography, both artistically and compositionally. Including a person in your photographs is going to result in dramatic changes to the photos you take. Not only does it allow you to portray scale within your photos, but it also adds story to the scene you're shooting. We human beings are naturally drawn to other human beings and their stories, and it's no different in photography. Bringing a friend along with you when you take photos can dramatically change the way you compose your shots and can certainly make your photos a lot more interesting. Tip number two is learn your composition. I know, I know, this is pretty basic, but hear me out. There's a reason why composition is one of the most integral components of photography and there's a reason why this is one of the first things that they teach you in a photography school. The good thing about learning composition is that it's not a very difficult topic. There are some rules, guidances and techniques out there that you can learn and they are going to help you become a better photographer relatively fast. Once you have learned some of the composition techniques, you can then start breaking away from them. You can learn when not to use those photography composition techniques and that's going to be even more liberating. If you want to learn about composition and photography fast, I've actually made a video about three of my favorite composition techniques in photography in under 100 seconds. So I would highly recommend that you check out that video. That's going to teach you the very basics, the fundamentals of composition and photography. And then I would recommend that you do some extra research on the topic, learn about some other techniques, some other composition rules, if you will, and start actually applying them in your own photography. Tip number three is to start taking fewer photos. Now this is an interesting one because a lot of people will actually tell you to start taking more photos because mathematically speaking, by taking more photos, you increase your chances of getting good photographs, right? Well, not quite. The problem with that mentality is that by increasing the number of photos you take, you're also increasing the number of bad photos or ordinary photos. And that's a kind of attitude I wouldn't necessarily want to encourage if I were you. So I have flipped that philosophy around a little bit. I'm gonna tell you to start shooting less and start thinking more. And what that really means is just start thinking about the photos that you take. Before you actually press the shutter button, take an extra 10 to 15 seconds, no more than that, to really think about how you're gonna compose that photo, what you're gonna put on that photograph, and whether or not you're actually taking the most interesting and most unique angle, et cetera, et cetera. So again, start shooting less and start thinking more. Definitely one of the biggest deal breakers, definitely one of the most important things that you can do if you wanna become better fast. Tip number four is to participate in photography challenges. Now this is a pretty big one. I used to do this all the time and it has improved my photography tremendously. Here's how it goes. There are many, many photography challenges online. There are some that run for 30 days. There are some that run for 60 days and there are some that run all year long. The one thing important about these challenges is that they force you to take one photo every single day for an extended period of time. The reason why this is gonna help you become a better photographer fast is because it makes photography into a habit. And when you start doing something on a daily basis, when you pursue a particular activity every single day, you will see massive improvements really, really fast. Such photography challenges also allow you to experience a wide variety of different photography styles, as for every single day, there is a specific theme, a specific limitation. So maybe on day one, you do black and white photography. Maybe on day two, you do portraits. On day three, you do landscape photography and so on and so forth. So look up some of these photography challenges. If you don't like the ones that you can find online and you can also make your own, just grab a piece of paper, grab a pen and write your own photography challenge. Write numbers from one all the way to 30 and then next to each day, next to each number, write the specific criterion for that specific day. And this is gonna give you a personalized photography challenge that is specifically tailored for your personal needs. Tip number five, and that is the last piece of advice that I have for you, is to study and become better at photo editing. Now, I know, I know this is not strictly speaking photography related, but now in the era of digital photography, about 50% of all the work you do happens on your computer, happens digitally, and happens throughout the post-processing. So if you become better at these kinds of things, you are basically improving 50% of your photography. The other 50% of course happens in camera, so how well you compose the shot, how interestingly and uniquely you think about the photos that you take and what your perspective is like. But again, the other 50% has to do with your editing and how well you learn color grading as well as photo manipulation and above everything else, how easily and how well you can turn the photo that you took 
into the photo that you want. I think this is an absolutely crucial aspect of photography and I don't think a lot of people actually think about this, but hey, again, we live in 2019. If you wanna make it rain in your photo, you can very easily do that. If you wanna add snow to your photo, again, you can very easily do that. If you wanna change the entire sky on your photo, then you can learn sky replacement, which is a very useful technique, both in photo and in video. So yeah, don't feel limited by the photo that you took because the editing process does not stop with the color grade. If anything, that's where the really fun stuff starts to happen because that's where you can start really customizing and tweaking that photo to your own personal liking. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. That was it for today. These were my five tips on how to become better at photography faster and how to start taking better photos. If you're interested in my photography, I would recommend that you check out my Instagram page. We can connect very easily there. So if you have any questions for me, just want to talk to me, want to share your photos with me, hit me up on Instagram. I will get back to you ASAP. Take a look around the channel. I have a bunch of videos already uploaded, but I have a lot of content coming up, so you will not regret subscribing to this YouTube channel. I will see you very soon, and until then, peace.